ओम शांति अव्यक्ति परिवार में आपका एवरी वन इज वेलकम टू दी अव्यक्ति परिवार टुडे इज डे सिक्स become a carefree emperor of the land without sorrow being full with all attainments today's topic is embodiment of eight powers you now have attainment of all powers and so you are carefree emperors however if due to some bad company or because of being influenced by any of your sense organs you lose your powers then you lose the intoxication and happiness of being from the land without sorrow just as those emperors become bankrupt in the same way by being subservient to maya you lose your sovereignty and become bankrupt therefore never forget the awareness i am always an embodiment of eight powers an emperor of the land without sorrow now we will listen to didi mohini om shanti om shanti sabke ghar kalyug mein kya antar hai what is the difference in the kalyuga and the satyug everyone wants and we desire that satyug should come and there will be no uh there will be no circumstance that is going to be opposing there will be no uh, peacelessness there will be no obstacle in that world of satyuga and because we have all the powers there why it won't be there because we have all the powers then in kalyug why various uh, circumstances come because there is weaknesses and that becomes the paristhiti the uh, obstacle and circumstance at that time to uh, to get tensed why it happened it shouldn't happen like that according to the according to the circumstance what do you need that that can only come through the power so to keep the inculcation of it in my uh, mind and intellect and become an embodiment of it and then we don't get tired of it it doesn't look like a circumstance so if it stays in your mind i have to inculcate entire eight powers all powers then there are the eight main powers but also besides that small big many uh, powers we always require them so now all powers we have to we have a, we have the attainment that is why we have to become embodiments of give free emperors lekin agar koi na koi sang dosh if due to some bad company or because of being influenced by any of your sense organs you lose your powers then you lose the intoxication and happiness of being from the land without sorrow just as those emperors become bankrupt in the same way so baba said so nicely we why do we lose our intoxication and happiness baba has clearly said like just as those emperors become bankrupt in the same way by being subservient to maya you lose your sovereignty and become bankrupt therefore never get the awareness i am always an embodiment of eight powers always an embodiment of eight powers an emperor of the begampur the land without sorrow never forget this awareness so what is the reason 
even if we do point fingers at each other, but uh, if if I I have the power to merge is less in me, then at that time that kind of that kind of circumstance will come in. If I have the uh, the power of tolerance is less, then that uh, circumstance will come. So, Baba said it so beautifully. We all must inculcate all powers in us and the circumstance. So, if we pay attention to this, then we can become carefree emperor. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, Avet Murli, Revision. Avyaktvani. Avyaktvani. Date is 2nd of August, 1978. On the basis of the subject of knowledge, you will receive respect accordingly either from the divine family or from all other souls. For instance, look at the Mahatmas nowadays. For instance, look at the Mahatmas nowadays. Why do they receive so much respect? Because whatever spiritual endeavor they have made, whatever subjects they have studied, they receive the object if of that, which is respect. Nature becomes their nature becomes their servant. So this is an aspect of knowledge in the same way. There is also the subject of yoga. What objective should you achieve from that? Through yoga, that is through the power of remembrance, you should achieve this objective. Whatever thoughts you create will be powerful. And if you have faith to face any problems, then with the power of yoga, you should experience in advance what is to happen. And because of knowing in advance, you will never experience defeat. So because of knowing in advance, you will never experience defeat. Similarly, with the power of yoga, you finish the seed of your past sense cars. Then none of your sense cars will be an obstacle to your efforts. Even that which you call nature will not take on the form of an obstacle to your efforts. So you should experience the objective of each subject. If you have the objective, then as a result, you will definitely receive respect because whatever words you repeat through your mouth, whatever plans you create are powerful. Everyone will give you respect. That is, whatever advice you give to one another will be respected by everyone because it is powerful. Check every subject in the same way. There are the subjects of the divine virtues and service. And the attainment of that is that souls should come into a close relationship and connection. When they come into a close relationship and connection, you will definitely and automatically receive respect. In the same way, check the objective of every subject, the meanings, the means of checking the objective is respect. If I am knowledgeable, then to whomsoever I give that knowledge, do they have just as much respect for that knowledge? Do I have to have respect for knowledge means to give respect to the one who is knowledgeful. If you have attained the objective in the subject of knowledge, yeah, you can transform the thoughts of others and make them powerful. So they will definitely give respect. So check every subject in this way. 
जिसको भी नॉलेज को समझाएंगे वह उस नॉलेज को इतना रिस्पेक्ट देते हैं नॉलेज को रिस्पेक्ट देना अर्थार्थ नॉलेजफुल को रिस्पेक्ट देना है अगर ऑब्जेक्टिव इन द सब्जेक्ट of knowledge you can transform the thoughts of others and make them powerful so they definitely give respect so check every subject in this way if you experience both the objective and respect in every thought you would then be said to be perfect perfect means beyond effect perfect means beyond effect perfect if you are beyond effect then you are perfect then you will be beyond all types of effect whether of the body your thoughts of any connection you make or of any vibrations or atmosphere so understand that to pass in a subject means to become perfect you are becoming like this are you not this is your aim is it not now there should be greater checking of the self परफेक्ट है ऐसे बन रहे हो ना लक्ष्य तो यही है ना अब अपनी चेकिंग ज्यादा होनी चाहिए अच्छा अच्छा नाउ यू विल लिसन टू दिस टुमारो ओम शांति